What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trailer Nonsense. And we back at again with another video. So today we're gonna be cooking up some Migos, the baby type vocals on this tracks by my boy King. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little preview real quick. So before we get started, go ahead and check out Mix and Magic at TreyLoveXXX.com. You guys can find presets. We got the 10 pack special, custom vocal templates, everything you guys need. So let's get right into it. Don't talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, stopping I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk, I don't give a damn. I'ma keep fucking it up. I've been like, fuck them all. Don't need me a rollie, I'm going straight to an automobile. Let's hop right into the mix. Uh, first things first. You want to get the key in the BPM. So we're going to open up Virtual DJ, drag the beat into Virtual DJ. It's going to give us the key in the BPM. And then as soon as we start our session, we're going to input that. So we got 120. And then we also got, let's see what else we got. And we got E minor for the uh, the key. And um, I'm going to go turn everything off really quick, make it raw. You know what I'm saying? So you guys can hear exactly what we uh, we started from. As well as the little delays, um, any type of reverse reverb, everything. So we got raw vocals. This is what the raw vocals sound like. And then we're gonna build it up from the top. And I'm kind of break down every single little thing that I did to, you know, uh, bring the track to life. So I was gonna talk about money. I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, stopping I need at least 100 million a month. So we got the auto tune. Auto tune all the way up, retune speed at zero, humanize around 16. Uh, don't really mess with the tracking too much. We got it around 85. With the auto tune, um, you're really just you know using it to to kind of correct it. If you if you want the robotic sound like that, we kind of got. Um, it's not crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because we even learned how to use auto tune type shit, but you're still getting that kind of effect. So and then the next thing is the detective EQ. So let's go ahead and open up Fab Filter EQ. Um, we're going to set something like this up really quick and I'll show and tell you guys why exactly um, I kind of did this. So I was going to talk about money. I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep. Stopping I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk. I don't give a damn. I'm going to keep fucking it up. I've been like, fuck them all. Don't need me a rollie. I'm going straight to an automobile. First things first, for the deductive EQ, um, you see a, a few of these little dips I'm taking out mainly just because um, he got a new mic. So uh, the old preset, you kind of have to, you know, adjust it, you know what I'm saying? Just like you guys should do with your, with your mixes, you know what I'm saying? You adjust it. Um, so we got a new mic, so we're, we're kind of creating a new preset with it. Um, and what I'm really doing is I'm noticing a lot of low end, so I'm just kind of making up for it. And uh, to give him that high, uh, crisp, clear cut vocal type shit. Um, we're just taking out some dips around the 200 range. This is mainly to take out the low end. Around 500, you're gonna get a nasally sound. So we're taking some of that out. And then uh, beyond this, I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit to kind of uh, make the vocals uh, similar to the previous uh, previous stuff, you know what I'm saying? Then we got an additive EQ. So let's turn on the additive EQ and then see where we're sitting at right now. I was gonna talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, stopping I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk, I don't give a damn. I'ma keep fucking it up. I've been like, fuck them all. So, really, all you could see, well, all you could hear and see with the EQ is um, I'm taking out a lot of the low end, bringing in some of the highs to make it more of a, a, a thinner, uh, crisp, crisp vocal. Um, and look. I was gonna talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas. Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, stopping I need. Now, this is kind of a little uh, harsh right now. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the compression in, get all the way down to the de -esser, and then see what we need to um, really do. But also, I want to mention that we, we did mix this entire uh, song on live. So, so if you guys check back to maybe a few weeks ago on the uh, Mixed Magic live streams, we did mix this um, on there and as well as another song. So, but yeah. 
so we, we got the compression um one of you guys commented saying you guys wanted more in-depth uh, tutorials to explain what the hell this shit is doing. Honestly, I don't know what this shit's doing. So we're going to go through and read the attack knob and um, the release and shit, see what it does, and then figure out how, um, well, we're going to figure out why it sounds good the way I do it. So since he wants to know. God damn. So what we're going to do is um, it says the auto release speed knob sets the effect that the auto release is on uh on the release times when set to slow overall release times will be slow when set to fast the auto release becomes more apparent and times will be uh quite fast for low compression it's, i don't know what that shit means that's doing too much so i put on auto attack means um the attack knob sets the time after which the gain reduction sets in uh honestly so the best thing that i do is i, I keep the same settings I uh, adjust the ratio and the threshold. So let's go ahead and play it and see where the, the threshold and ratio needs to be. I was gonna talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, not stopping I need at least 100 million a month. That now, honestly, I feel like it sounds good as it is. So what I got is a ratio count on eight, and this is gonna do eight to one. So uh, every eight dBs it's over, it's gonna. It's gonna it's gonna compact it harder. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna do more. Um, and then the reason I do that is just because I feel like it works best with the way I do my threshold. So my threshold is at a middle low peak, and I go ahead and play it again so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I was gonna talk about money. Like right I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. So literally where the lowest peak is, or you know what I'm saying, sometimes in the middle of the lowest peak to the highest peak. It just kind of depends, you, you know what I'm saying? So just see what sounds best. But uh, the middle lowest peak always works for me. So that's what I do. think is we got the de -esser. So the de is going to take out some of the harsh S's that we uh, added in with the EQ, as well as, um, you know what I'm saying, with the deductive EQ, it kind of made it more brighter just because we took out some of the low end. Um, it's going to kind of even that out. So we got the male sh on uh, 29.4. I was gonna talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, not stopping I need at least 100 million a month. Alright, so really, that's about as easy as it gets, you know. Uh, we're pretty much done with the lead vocal. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, right click, file, save, make sure track stayed as, click and drag that over to the next one. And uh, that's what we use the ad libs for which is uh this little uh this fifth track right here this is the ad libs we duplicated that over let's go ahead and turn all the effects back on uh for the ad libs i do take out a little bit of the low end kind of boost the the high end up a little bit more um and just to you know give it some separation type shit so you don't have uh, phasing or clashing issues and then uh we added a sound goodizer we also got a fruity chorus on here just to you know just to give it a little bit more space. God damn. Don't talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep. I stop and I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk. I don't give a damn. Yeah, fuck them all. So this is what the, the ad lib is sounding like. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep. Other than that, we do have a delay on here. And we got the dry knob down. So so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the lead of vocals to delay track. Turn the dry knob down. Uh, we got the time on four count. Got the cut uh almost down the middle, and everything else is on uh slightly to the left. And we got the feedback on ping pong. And uh, it gives us this nice little uh, delay. Don't talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep. I stop and I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk. I don't give a damn. I'ma keep fucking it up. I've been like, fuck them all. Next thing we got is the reverb. So we're using the Valhalla Vintage Verb. And this is initially what the comment was about. Um, so. I guess I'm gonna go over what I'm really doing. So I'm not messing with anything. It says the decay sets the reverb decay time for mid frequencies. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm doing 60,000 by, by the BPM, it gives me five seconds. Divide that by four, comes out to 12.5, right? It says the pre delay, uh, let's see, 
Where's the pre-delay? All right, pre-delay. Sets the amount of delay before a reverb. So what this does is, uh, I guess this is this, the amount of time before the reverb. So it's, um, it's, the, it's the delay before the reverb. So if you get 12 milliseconds, it comes in 12 milliseconds later or something, right? Um, the mix, I turn it up. It just is, uh, it's like the mix all the way up. You know what I'm saying? It's fully reverbed out, right? Damping, don't really know what this stuff does. So I don't really mess with it. Sometimes I will turn down the bass multiplier because I use my ears. And uh, what the bass multiplier does is the... I don't know, it just makes it a lot of a lot of extra on the low end shit. So turn that down a little bit. So it says attack controls initial attack of the reverb decay. Larger attack percentage longer uh attack time can be used to adjust perceived distance from the source within the reverb. I don't even know what that shit means, so I turn it down. Um what I do is I boost the low cut up to around five hundred hertz, turn the uh the high cut down to around seventy five hundred hertz. And it comes out with a nice reverb like this. Don't talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, I'm stopping I need at least in a million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk. I don't give a damn. I'ma keep fucking it up. I've been like fuck them all. The next thing I do is I add another uh, EQ onto the reverb and pretty much just do the same thing, kind of boost uh, around 5k hertz just to give it a little, you know. Uh, extra mid-range in the reverb and just kind of create its own separate space type shit but that's just being extra really just use your ears and um see what sounds good you know what i'm saying then we turned it down so let's see what we turned it down to it's around like 50 percent yeah 50 that's how i get a, a smooth reverb if you guys like to see uh more in-depth uh tutorial on the reverb go ahead and check out the reverb tutorial on my page and um and so the next thing that we uh that we do that really takes the, the song to the next level is add the reverse reverb. So the reverse reverb is all of these little uh, little fade looking type of things. You know what I'm saying? On track 9 to 10, 11, uh, that's what this is. So if you guys listen really quick, I'm going to go ahead and play the intro part. And it's just something that I added uh, to kind of sauce up the beat a little bit, but as well uh, sauce up the vocals. Alright, now I'm gonna turn it off and kind of just replay the first part and then I'm gonna get into the vocals. Start a I'm gonna do it one more time and let me know in the comments if you guys fuck with this better. Yeah, so honestly, um, I fuck with it. Now, the vocals, this does a whole entire separate thing on the vocals. This shit takes the vocals to the next level, so listen. I was gonna talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, I'm stopping I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk, I don't give a damn. I'ma keep fucking it up. I've been like, fuck them all. Don't need me a rolly, I'm going straight to a Audemars. Said that they got me. Hey, now when I heard this shit, I knew it was a banger, right? But this shit just makes it look. I was gonna talk about money, I don't even need to because I've been getting so much. PJ to Vegas, yeah, on the way there. I swear we smoked about 20 blunts. Running it up in my sleep, I'm stopping I need at least 100 million a month. They gon' keep talking that talk, I don't give a damn. I'ma keep fucking it up. I've been like, fuck them all. Alright, so I got one last little thing I'm gonna show you guys really quick, and that's how to do the reverse reverbs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out a little section. Let's say we're gonna do this part right here, and I cut it out. You're gonna go ahead and left click, make unique add a sample, save it, double click on it, right click and do edit, open it up in Edison. And so I'm gonna do alt left, click this little reverb, uh, load it up, accept, alt left again, trim it, and then drag it back into the, uh, into the playlist. And then it, it looks something like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play it back and kind of listen to see where it would fit in. But generally, um, I'll start with like the third word before where I wanted to hit. You know what I'm saying? So look, I'll give you an example right here. So because I've been getting so much, PJ. getting so much, right? So it's P the the reverse reverb is for PJ PJ to Vegas, right? And then on getting so much, I'm gonna actually start it off. So I've been getting so much, PJ. Leads into it. Listen. I've been getting so much PJ to Vegas. Slightly here, 
and uh, that's exactly how we do the reverse reverb and uh, if it starts to sound weird sometimes uh, you switch it up you just see what sounds best other than that that pretty much wraps it up for this video thank you guys for watching don't don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications and uh check out mix and magic we're giving away free presets every day you just got to comment hashtag mix and magic presets and be entered and uh yeah it's your boy trailer peace i'm out